Hey everybody, it's Tog here. Yes, I am here. I just kind of wanted to let you guys listen to that very, very soothing soundtrack before we get right into it. So this game is Far Cry 5. It is the fifth installment of the Far Cry series, I believe. And with Far Cry 6 coming up soon, I don't know, I just figured I'd give this game a go beforehand. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty interesting game. Uh, it takes place in rural Montana and I don't know. Uh, I think I'm gonna try to make this more of a story-based playthrough rather than do all of the outposts and things of that sort Just to keep it shorter more succinct, but also like more linear uh, Maybe I'll have some extra videos in the meantime, but I don't know. This is a good. It's definitely a good game I think it'll be good to experience. So without further ado, let's just get into it um, Yeah, I guess I'm a dude so I will do that and I will unfortunately think I had to have to overwrite the save data. I did complete this game and it was pretty fire. It was pretty fire, honestly. Um, took me a really long time to do it, but I kind of think that's alright with games like this. Like, you're supposed to take your time with them and do it. Like, it's kind of, since it's a Ubisoft game, I, I kind of compare it to like Assassin's Creed, those types of games that I love taking like years to end. But this will not take me a year to end. I will just, I'm going to focus more on the story and just get right through it and. If you guys want to experience more of it, I definitely recommend it. And, I don't know, hopefully Far Cry 6 uh, lives up to its expectation, but without uh, any of that, I'm going to skip this loading screen and let you guys watch the cutscenes. So, enjoy that, I'll see you on the other side. Montana. Big sky country. A treasure state. People got a lot of names for it. I just call it home. Lived here my whole life. Still amazed at how beautiful it is. Maybe that's what blinded us to how ugly the people were getting. Good day to you, brother. You don't understand. No one took these groups seriously. They were different. Religious. Militant. I mean, it was a goddamn cult. The collapse is upon us, my children. They started buying up every farm for miles. Then the radio station. Not long after that, they even had the fucking cops. Their own sovereign religious state built right here, under our noses. Ain't no one coming to help us. This government can't do shit. We're on our own. Friends, we save those lost souls, whether they want to be saved or not. People don't want to believe groups like this exist. People are scared, man. Some will wish to harm us. Some will wish to destroy all that we have built here together. Some will betray us. Their leader, Joseph Seed. They call him the father. And those in the outside world are blind. They do not believe. They have no faith. But I will make them see. Yeah. 
climbed out there. You get into any trouble, you just let me know. Over? 10-4, over and out. Maybe we should have brought Nancy along with us instead of the Proby. These Peggy's wouldn't fuck with her. Pratt. Why do you keep calling them Peggy's? Project at Eden's Gate. P.E.G. Peggy's is what the locals call them. You know, they started off harmless enough a few years back, but now they are armed to the T. Yeah, you know, they're looking for a fight. Are you scared, Sheriff? We're here. Compound's just below. Church. Stick close. Well, this is definitely interesting. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm totally calm with these guys burning shit and walking towards me like that, giving me evil eyes. You got a problem with me, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Respect a nine millimeter. Yeah, no, they won't if they have shotties like that. They totally did that on purpose. Doggy. So, although I have played this game before, I don't really remember it that well because, like I said, I took forever to play it. But let's just see what's gonna happen here. Fine. Hudson on the door. Watch our backs. Don't let any of these people get in. Rookie? On me. And you? Just... Try not to do anything stupid. Relax, Sheriff. You're about to get your name in the paper. You'll be fine. Something is coming. You can feel it, can you? We are creeping toward the edge. And there will be a reckoning. That is why we started the project. Because we know what happens next. They will come. They will try to take from us. Take our guns. Take our freedom. Take our faith. We will not let them. Sheriff, come on. Hold on, Marshall. We will not let their greed, or their immorality, or their depravity hurt us anymore. Sheriff, you're not there will be no more second. suffering. Oh, fuck. Oh, Joseph C. I have a warrant issued for your arrest on the suspicion of kidnapping with the intent to harm. Now, I want you to step forward and keep your hands where I can see them. There they are, the locusts in our garden. See, they've come for me. They've come to take me away from you. They've come to destroy all that we've built. Oh, do not touch that citizen. Hold on and don't stand down. Stand down. Keep down. Everyone calm down. We knew this moment would come. We were prepared for it. Go. Go. God will not let them take me. I saw when the Lamb opened the first seal, and I heard, as it were, the noise. 
voice of thunder one of the four beasts say, Come and see. Step forward. And I saw. And behold, it was a white horse. And the hell followed with him. Rookie, cuff this son of a bitch. God will not let you take me. Um, Rook, put the cuffs on him. Uh, okay, I'll go do that then. Sometimes the best thing to do is to walk away. I'm pretty sure if I didn't do that, the game would have just ended 15 minutes. But let's be honest, I, I kind of want to play this game. <laughs> Let us go. And so John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness, preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. Get the fuck out of here. Then he made the altar offering of Acadia wood, long and something. I missed the rest of it. I'm sorry. They wouldn't let me walk backwards. Stay on the path, rookie. Of course, they make me do the hard stuff. Well, they just, they'll leave me behind if anything goes wrong. This is very tense. Yeah, 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 I'm not, I can't sprint. Oh shit, oh shit. Crazy. That's those are fanatics for you though. But uh oh my goodness, they climbed the helicopter. Dispatch. Oh my god. Everything is just fine here. I don't need to call anyone. Yes, Father. <laughs> Praise be to you. I... No one is coming to save you. I'm so uncomfortable. I'm so close to him. Take what we need. 
the circle we have. We will kill all those who stand in our way. And these, the harbingers of doom, will see the truth. We gotta get out of here. Begin the rebate! We gotta get out of here. Yes, please, let's get out of here. Bad. Oh, no. Better help me out of here, you oh my gosh. Hey people are the worst. Everyone's out for themselves, but so that just means I gotta figure it out myself. Ow. Yeah, I'm out of here. Oh gosh, oh This is definitely Far Cry 3-esque, the first running scene. Except I think it was a little more action-packed. Actually. I mean, I don't know, this might pick up. I'll go left. Oh, I probably should not have gone left. Well, maybe the house is good. Like he's by himself. I found Matthew. It's bad. They ambushed him. He's dead. We need to find those sinners. Ahead for the lumber mill. I'll be waiting. No, you won't. Let's see what's in here. Swap weapon for what? Hmm, okay, interesting. Ouch. Just kind of wandering. Hello? Anyone here at me? Hello? It's Ferg. Hello? I think I lost him. By the way, I did that by pressing up on the D-pad. I don't have any skills upgraded to like double take them down. And I don't know if I want to shoot, so I think I'm just going to... Stealthy. Alright. This guy looks more by himself. Oh, pff, that's a pole. I guess I could be salty that this guy left me behind, but like, I'm gonna not be super salty. Because, I mean, it was a pretty shitty situation. Jesus Christ. Rook, I'm sorry. I thought they got you. Yeah, no thanks Come to on. you. Come on. Come on. Check the room, Rook. Oh, you such a baby. He had a gun. He could have, like, at least backed me up or something. You tell me he doesn't even have a knife? I mean, I guess I don't have a knife. Cut me out. Oh, Jesus. I had no idea. Fuck. We're putting this whole family away. All of them. Fucking lunatics. That's a sick family to portrait. Have this rookie. First things first. Gotta arm ourselves. Here. Alright. Here's what we're gonna do. There's a road out there. We're gonna take it. We're gonna head northeast. It's probably only a few hours back to Missoula. And then... We're gonna come back here with a goddamn National Guard, and we're gonna take out the rest of these... Okay. <laughs> Good timing. Oh, I got a bigger gun now. Oh, now I'm gonna have to use it. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but I did it, so cool. I'm gonna hop out. Not the most accurate at this range, but still got him. They'll get up if you don't shoot them, so. Would rather he didn't. Oh, here we go. Alright, time to go. Yeah, 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 I'm going, I'm going. Oh, now they gave me an O. <laughs> Fucking Nancy. <laughs> I don't know who she is, but that's funny the way you said it. Uh, that was terrible, Am. Inside, inside, inside. Holy shit! Nice shot! Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry, cow. Oh, not the plane. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This is absurd. Get out of the way. Oh. Oh, I suck. Oh, I suck. Oh, I suck. I suck. I suck. Take out his legs. Don't do this to me again. No, it's okay. I was able to get out. Oh, where's the where's up? Follow the bubbles. Follow the bubbles. Didn't get me. Wow. That was... We must give thanks to God. The day I have prophesied to you has arrived. Everything I told you has come true. Be of 
thorns who tried to take me from you are now in the loving embrace of my family. <laughs> oh, that's me. Why am I tied up? Well, they don't trust me? Like, I'm part of the U.S. Army. Oh yeah, this guy's actually kind of whack. You know what that shit means? It means the roads have all been closed. It means the phone lines have been cut. It means there's no signals getting in and out of this valley. But mostly it means we're all fucked. <laughs> Thanks for simplifying it. Goddamn collapse. They all think the world's coming to an end now. They've been waiting for it. For years. Waiting for somebody to, to come along and fulfill their prophecy. And kick off their goddamn holy war. Well, you sure as shit kicked. <laughs> well, the beginning of something. Smartest thing for me to do would just be to hand you over. Fuck. I'm glad you didn't go that route. Get out of that uniform. We need to burn it. There's some fresh clothes there. When you get changed, you come and see me. We'll see if we can unfuck this situation. Well, I think we can most certainly unfuck this situation. Uh, cool little book reading. Uh, okay. I don't know, I guess I'll just go default. I'm gonna go default all the way through. Sorry, I'm so not personable, but I don't even see myself in this game, so why would I customize it? Dad, I got your message. Good to hear they're dropping the charges. We'll try to come out for the out for part of the summer. Ricky wants to show you how he's riding with without training wheels, but Anne's got a lot of work at the college. I know how much it means to you, so we'll try. Only please lay off the homeschooling talk, okay? It's not right for me or Anne, and the school in South Street is one of the best. And let's keep the prepping activities to a minimum. I know Ricky loves it, but it freaks Annie out. Talk soon, Robbie. And it looks like that's his son. Being interested in all that. Dear Mr. Roosevelt, I'd like to interview you about your recent altercation with government officials over your right to collect rainwater. My understanding is you had applied for a permit, but it was overturned, leading to your nights in jail and ongoing court case. I'd like to confirm your official statements to the court that water is a God given right and the government's stealing our resources out from under us. It's up to us to defend our individual rights and liberties. Also, did you really tell the judge, yeah, you bet your lily white ass I'm in contempt of you? Please let me know if you go on the record. Jeb Boyd, Hope County Chronicle. Real quick. Anything useful, anything useful, anything useful. Oh, a shovel, huh? In case I want to kill Dutch. Ha ha ha. And that looks like the exit. We are fully in a bunker. Super patriotic. Jacob Seed, the soldier, oldest brother of the Seeds, in charge of training their militia up in the Whitetail Mountains. Only thing he believes in is sacrifice the weak. Seems to be running a few psychological experiments up north. All sorts of nightmare stories about people turning on one another at the drop of a hat. Has been linked to the creation of the monster wolves up north the cult calls Judges. 
John Seed, the Baptist, youngest of the Seed brothers and maybe the most sadistic, in charge of recruiting for the cult, marking, cleansing, confession, atonement, those are the four steps he puts everyone through to become a member of Eden's Gate, if they survive. John tells everyone to accept the power of yes as a way to get his followers to do whatever the fuck he wants. Grade A psychopath. To whoever is in the pr Faith, the siren. Don't know how she's related. Seems like she just showed up one day. She'll spin you a sob story, but Faith is a liar and a manipulator. She'll poison your mind with bliss if you give her the chance. Anyone who goes wandering into the Henbane River winds up either dead or walking the path to become one of those brain-dead angels doing all the cult's heart labor. Prison, are you there? What's your status? Hello? Joseph Seed, the father, leader of the project at Eden's Gate. He believes a great collapse is coming and thinks of himself as a modern-day Noah. Thinks God speaks to him, told him to save as many souls as he can. Now that he's started the reaping, his followers are willing to die for him. He's had his people build three massive bunkers to protect themselves when his prophecy comes true. The guy is an absolute nut job. Can you hear me? Hello? God damn it. Good. You found something that fits. I didn't properly introduce myself back there. Most folks call me Dutch. I've been trying to piece together what's happening up top. It ain't good. The little I can gather is that your partners are alive. For now. Seems they've been split up. Each one handed off to a different member of Joseph's family. Hmm. You want them back, I get it. I get it. I got friends that have been taken too. Problem is, there ain't no help coming. Nobody knows what's going on here, and they won't know until it's too late. There's gotta be people out there willing to fight back against this cult. We just, we need to show them how. We need to build us a resistance. So the first thing we're gonna do is get control of this island. Once we got some breathing room, we can figure out what's coming next. There's a gun and a map in the safe over there. Take them. I'll give you a call on your radio once you get your bearings. A Glimmer of Hope. Kinda like that title. Be careful out there. Willing to die for that psychopath that's leading the room. That's loyalty for you. Oh, I did miss a room. Local fights to use water. Richard Dutch Roosevelt served two nights in jail for contempt of court after contesting his right to collect rainwater in what the state has defined as reservoir. Mr. Roosevelt has operated this rainwater collection without a proper permit, in flagrant violation of Montana laws, said the Water Resource Department Deputy Director Edwin, Edwin Garcia. Mr. Roosevelt is contesting the charges. So it looks like they don't, he isn't allowed to use his, um, use the water of the state. Dutch, you there? This is Ray Ray. What the hell is going on? We've, we've heard a miss of gunshots, and I, and I swore that weren't thunder earlier, but, but a couple of explosions. Boomers all riled up and won't settle down. Is this more of them Peggy's bullshit? How much are we going to stand for? Anyway, call me back when you can, and take care of yourself. Wow, that voice actor was really done well, because she sounds worried as hell. Okay. Let's get out of here. Outside world we go. Wow. Now listen up. If you're gonna build a resistance, there's some things you need to know. There's four ways you can go about this. First, you can liberate any hostages the cult's taken. These are good people. We might just fight alongside you if you help them. Second, you can destroy Eden's Gate property that's all over the place now. Hell, they built two goddamn shrines on this island alone. Third, you can tackle resistance missions. There are a lot of folks out there waging their own war against this cult. And they could sure use your help. And last, if you're really looking for a fight, <laughs> you can take 
Yeah, I'm definitely going to take on some cold outposts to take it back. They're just too much fun. Island, huh? I'm just gonna get a little better view, get some loot real quick. Nobody better try anything. Uh, speaking of which. fanatics are out of control. If you want to protect yourself, I think there's a prepper stash near the boathouse. Should have some good gear squirreled away. Okay. I will probably do that. After I loot this guy. Probably the one on my compass, so I'm not going to open my map right now. I'm just going to run on over there. Hey Mike, I tried to get into the underground stash, but a pipe burst and flooded everything. I have no idea what's still salvageable. We need juice to run the pump to drain the water. I know the power switch is in the boathouse, but it's locked and you didn't give me the key. So I'll leave that to you, Garrett. <sighs> okay. So this is the flooded area, I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. It is definitely worthwhile doing the prepper stashes, and they're kind of interesting. They get some little puzzles, clever stuff, but we'll see if I can figure out my way in. some electricity and that's making me nervous but eh, it doesn't look like it's gonna electrocute me whatever fuck the key I'm pretty sure that it did what it needed to do and these ropes mean you can climb it by the way So I still haven't depleted this. Oh. There we go. Not the bunker. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Hell of monies. Casing. More monies. And uh, I can only hold one gun at a time. I think I will. Just because those are so prevalent and this is a little less rare. Teach me how to do that. Well, I guess I'll go do that outpost if doesn't look like I have a direct mission right now.
Guess we just gotta explore. Cause I don't see any uh I don't see any mission tracker. I'll just start walking then. Okay. Looks like we got our first outpost. I'm gonna do my best to do it undetected. But if I get detected, I get detected and I kill everyone. Oh, that guy has good eyes. Yep, just more people being dicks. And I almost got seen by this guy. That was close. Can I still throw rocks in this game? Yeah, I can. If it's just this guy, this girl, I can kill her. Well, shit. <laughs> There should only be two left. Yeah, I had a feeling that was wooden. Alright. As long as they don't move, which it looks like they are. Oh shit. Oh, baseball bat seems a little more fun. left, I gotta be careful. We'll kill him quick when the time comes. Okay. Smart about this, smart about this. They're a little used to us now. Turn around, please. Oof, they're gonna get a lot harder than that one. I know there's only four enemies, but I wanted to take my sweet time with it, do it right, you know? Silver Lake Conservation Area Ranger Station. Liberated. Okay, cool, and I liberated my, I freed a first hostage. Get more spots on the map. I just saw the cold grab a guy down by the docks. You help him out, and maybe he'd be willing to pick up a gun and return the favor. That does seem interesting. That I will do. But I think that'll have to be done in the next episode. I think I filled this one up pretty good. But uh, I'm going to listen to this voice recording, and then uh, we'll call it with that. Hey, Lance. I'm not sure what to advise. The seats don't have any claim to the property. The station is built on federal land, after all. But if their people are traipsing around the area and, what did you say, taking measurements and such? Anyway, those folks from Eden's Gate could potentially be charged with trespassing. I know they're kind of weird and unsociable, but I think if you give them a harsh word and a hard stare, they'll back off. I mean, how dangerous are these nerd jobs gonna be? True that. Uh, okay, so in the next episode... I believe we will just do this mission, maybe check out the lookout tower and the central radio tower. And I think at that point we'll probably be able to expand to more of the map, but for now we're limited to just this tiny little island. But yep, thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like, subscribe for more content, and I will see you guys and gals in the next one. Peace out.